How do we know that DNA is the heredity material? It started with the experiment of Griffith in 1928. Griffith used bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae has two types, type R bacteria and type S bacteria. Type R bacteria do not have protective capsule. By this, it can be easily killed by the immune system of the host. While type S bacteria has protective capsule, it protects the bacteria from killing by the immune system. So we say type S bacteria is virulent. In the first experiment, Griffith injected living type R bacteria into the mice. Since type R bacteria do not have protective capsule, it is non-virulent. By this, the mice will remain alive. In the second cell experiment, Griffith injected living type S bacteria into the mice. Living type S bacteria is virulent, it killed the mice. In another cell experiment, Griffith prepared a heat killed type S bacteria by adding the living type S bacteria into the medium and use high temperature to kill the type S bacteria. Now it becomes non virulent. Griffith injected the heat killed type S bacteria into the mice and the mice remained alive. In the last set of experiments, Griffith injected a mixture of living type R bacteria and heat killed type S bacteria. Since both strain also is non virulent the mice should remain alive. However, the mice was dead after a few days. The result shows that the blood culture containing living type S bacteria from the experiment, Griffith discovered that the living type S bacteria killed the mice. But Griffith suspected that the living type S bacteria actually it is transformed from the type R bacteria. It must be from the heat kill type S bacteria that produce certain compound to transform the type R bacteria into type S. However, Griffith doesn't know that what the compound it is. Griffith named it as transforming principle. Avery extended the experiment of Griffith by isolating the macromolecule from living type S bacteria. He isolated the carbohydrate, lipid, protein, RNA, and DNA from the type S bacteria. And each of the macromolecule was added into the type R bacteria culture medium. In the first cell experiment, he prepared a culture medium of type R bacteria added with the carbohydrate from type S bacteria to see whether the carbohydrate from type S bacteria can transform type R into type S bacteria. The result shows that type R bacteria remain as type R. In another cell experiment, Avery added lipid from type S bacteria and the result shows that the type R bacteria remain as type R. While added with the protein from type S bacteria, type R bacteria remain as type R. So this proven that protein is not the macromolecule that transforms type R into type S bacteria in the experiment of Griffith. In another cell experiment, every added with the RNA from type S bacteria, but then the type R bacteria remain as type R bacteria. While in another cell experiment, when he added with the DNA from type S bacteria, the result shows that some of the type R bacteria successfully transformed into type S bacteria. The result proven that DNA is the heredity material that transformed type R bacteria into the type S. So the discovery of Avery shows that the transforming principle is DNA. Here it comes to the third cell experiment by Hersey and Chase in 1952. Hersey and Chase used bacteriophage T2. The reason of using bacteriophage T2 is due to the simple structure. Bacteriophage T2 has only two components, the DNA and the protein code. In the first cell experiment, Hersey and Chase labeled the DNA with radioactive isotope phosphorus. Well, in the other cell experiment, they label the protein code of bacteriophage with sulfur radioactive isotope. And then they allow the bacteriophage to infect the bacterium. So in this experiment, the protein code was labeled with radioactive signal and they allow the bacteriophage to infect the bacteria. 
As we know, when bacteriophage infect bacteria, they deliver the TRDT material into the cytoplasm of bacteria, and the protein code will be leaving it outside. Since they had labeled radioactive signal on the protein code, so the protein code will give you radioactive signal. Hersey and Chase took the sample to do centrifugation. Since protein code has lower density, you're present in the supernatal. While the bacteria containing the DNA is heavier, so they will be present in the pellet. And the radioactive signal was released from the supernatal. This proven that DNA is the one that delivered into the cytoplasm of bacteria, but not protein. While in second cell experiment, they labeled the DNA of bacteriophage with radioactive signal and then allow the bacteriophage to infect the bacteria. The bacteriophage will deliver DNA as HDD material into the cytoplasm and the protein code will be leaving it outside. Since in this experiment, DNA was labeled with radioactive signal, so the bacteria itself will release radioactive signal. Hersey and Chase took the sample to do centrifugation. And since in this experiment, the DNA was labeled with radioactive signal and it is present in the bacteria, thus, the pellet will give radioactive signal. The experiment of Hersey and Chase successfully proven that the transforming principle is DNA, not protein.